Hi, welcome. What you're watching right now is a short demo of being able to cast both MP4s and FLVs from computer to TV for free. I'll let you watch the demo right now, and then I'll explain it in more detail how it's done later on. Right here's an MP4 that we're casting from computer to TV. Just cast this tab to the Chromecast. And now it's going to be cast to the big TV. And there it is. Next, we're going to begin to uh, show you how to cast an FLV. I'm going to show you how to do this in more detail later on. Okay. Uh, as I said, this is a how-to on casting XBMC from computer to TV for free using Chromecast and the Chrome browser. I've updated a prior video, so now there's also a way to play the FLV files on the Chromecast. But nothing will work uh, right now unless you have the Chrome exec file and the VLC exec file in these exact directories exactly the way I have them. So it will not work without this. You also need to know your local IP address of your computer, which in my case is 192.168.1.10, and also the port that you're broadcasting from, which I'm using 8080. And there's also a number of programs you need to get this working. The first being the Google Cast extension. There it is, Google Cast at the above address. I'm going to give you all the uh, sites that you need to download these programs in the description. So go ahead and add the Chrome extension. And the next step, number two, is to go to xbmc.org downloads and download the Windows 12.3 Frodo version. Uh, you probably need to run it once to set up the folders that you're going to need for step number three. Step number three is the player core factory file. You need to download this. Uh, this is modified for Chrome, as you can see. And uh, the player name, again, is Chrome. And it has to be put with this exact path to the Chrome exec file or once again it will not work without this. A lot of people have problems with this step. And this player core factory .xml file has to be put in uh, a certain directory right here where I'm showing you right now. Ignore the line above it where it says user data folder. That's incorrect and I apologize for that error. The uh, player core factory goes in the system folder, not the user data folder. So the next step is to download uh, VLC player. 64-bit uh, version is the one I'm using. So go ahead and download that and install it. And I'm going to show you the settings for this right now. Go into your VLC player, hit Tools, Preferences. Then at the bottom left, you have to change it from Simple Settings to All Settings. So click that circle that says All. Then you go up, click Interface. Then go down to Main Interfaces, click that. And you have to have this web box checked off and 
that's going to bring up the HTTP right there that you do need. So save that. <coughs> then go back into Tools, Preferences once again. Change Show, show Settings to All. And that little arrow next to Main Interfaces, to the left of Main Interfaces, click that. Click Lua. Put a password. I already have mine in there. Type a password in there. You need to do this step. Save it. And now the VLC player is set up. That's the, uh, now we're going to make sure it works. We're going to go into 192.168.110.8080. We're going to type in our password. You don't need to put a username if you choose not to. Then you're going to log in. This is how we know the network's working. If that player comes up, you know you're good. And you're ready to go to the next step. Okay. The next part is I made up a little exec file. I called it VLC, no, FLV.exec, excuse me. FLV.exec. You have to go download this uh, exec file from Mediafire again. Hit the download button. Save it right there. I save mine to my desktop. Okay, so there it is on my desktop. Okay, let's uh, open XBMC right now. Click on Videos, Add-ons. We're going to click Apple iTunes, Podcasts, Browse by Genre. Games and Hobbies Automotive. This is going to be an MP4, CarTech, HD. Try this BMW video. Click it. Now it's going to open up in your Chrome browser right now. And you can cast this right from Chrome. This is the easy part. Play as MP4s, MKVs. I'm going to cast this tab to our Chromecast. Here's the bigger TV. Okay, there it is on the big TV. Directly from the computer to the TV. Okay, next we're going to do an FLV. We go into Videos, Add-ons. We're going to go to Meta Cafe. They seem to use FLVs there, so hit Travel and Outdoors. Hit this Extreme Mountain Biking video. Okay, here it is starting to play in the Chrome browser. Usually FLVs download. This one is very rare for some reason. It, it is playing in FLC. But what we're trying to do here is grab the website. That's all we're really trying to do in this step. So we hit Control-C. We want to copy that. Then we close everything else down. And now we want to click on our FLV exec file. So we do that. It's going to ask us for an, an HTTP link that we just copied. So now we hit Control V to paste it. We hit OK. Now we type in our local IP, 192.168.1.10, colon, the port 8080, just like we did earlier. Then we hit the OK button. OK, now here's vidcast. This is what's going to play the file. So you go to your FLC, you see that it's playing. Now you're all set. You can click, you can enter here in the Chrome browser. Now it's all set up to play and go to the Chromecast. You can hit your play button now. Now you start casting, hit Chromecast. 
and now it's going to play on the big TV momentarily. And there it's starting to try to play. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so there's quite a few steps, but it's not as hard as it seems. So good luck with this.